Mauro Ranello. You know, Mauro's back at WWE. He's the lead broadcaster of NXT. And they taped on Wednesday, and we took over on Thursday and Friday. And uh, Mauro seemed well. You know, when I saw him, he looked a little tired. And I'm thinking, boy, this son of a gun is a road warrior. He is in those containers with, that fly a lot. But I'm happy that he's back. And I hope he has a great, productive, long career there in, uh, in WWE. I think that's a good spot for him at the NXT. Uh, it's a good fit. Uh, he's got a lot of things going on. He looked, you know, we had a nice chat and enjoyed visiting with him. He's got the McGregor Mayweather assignment. How crazy is that? That's a cash cow circus, huh? And that's a, exactly the perfect kind of event for Morrow because he is adaptable. He's done pro wrestling. He's done MMA at all levels. He's done boxing. So this is going to be kind of a combination of all that. It's a great big old cash cow omelet with all kinds of eggs in it, ingredients. So he'll kill it. He'll kill it. And he's working with my old buddy, Al Bernstein, who's got a great sense of humor, but he's very straight-laced, and he's a boxing guy. So we'll, be see, we'll see how much Al can relax and have fun with McGregor. Because you got to know there's going to be some controversy in this fight. Anybody that thinks there's not going to be any controversy is crazy. They'll create controversy. Because why? As my good friend Eric Bischoff, who just celebrated one year of this podcast, said, controversy creates cash and eb eric bischoff was right and by the way not to throw the line away but happy anniversary one year for eric's podcast check it out it's good very good very timely very topical and very smart we're going to be doing some great new japan stuff on friday nights on access tv i don't know that it will suit the talents in mass on the new japan roster but i think it will suit most of them by far we look forward to uh, more great matches on Friday nights because we're getting into the G1 season. And nobody to talk better to about the G1 than our guest, Dave Meltzer, without question. And that's it for What's On My Mind. And that means that Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer is coming up next right after this, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, my mind. Hey, have you heard? Podcast One has a whole bunch of awesome new shows filled with big names that are waiting for you on our brand new amazing app. This one's a game changer. There's Norman Lear talking to Amy Poehler, Julia Louis-Dreyfus, and Charles Barkley. Geffen Playhouse Unscripted with Brian Cranston, Josh Gad, and soon Neil Patrick Harris. Nice. OC Real Housewife, Heather Dubrow's World, Lady Gang's Three Mimosa Podcast with Leah Michelle, Nelly Furtado, L. King, and more. Plus every episode of The Adam Carolla Show, Dan Patrick, and Rich Eisen. And if you like what happens in the ring, we've got Steve Austin, Chris Jericho, Chael Sonnen, and a whole bunch more. So download our one of a kind new app and see for yourself go to the app store google play or download it now at podcast1.com the ross report it's uh great to have the best of the business on your program and we had that this week with dave Meltzer. dave how are you sir i'm doing really good how are you i'm good thanks i want to tell you uh on on air that i certainly my condolences with the loss of your father i know what he meant to you and i love reading about what you wrote about him as much as i have Enjoyed what you've written in, in a long time. I'm trying to be very honest. I, I really enjoyed it. Well, thanks. I, I really I really appreciate it. You know, I mean, um, and and you've been really good through the whole thing. You know, I mean, I I, I mean, in, in as I to, as I have told you, you know, your ability to get through what you went through really helped me through the situation. It was kind of like, uh, you know, if you can if you can do it, I'm going to do it too. Yeah. So it it wasn't it wasn't bad, but it was very sad. Yes, yes. Well, you know the, but the memories you have are so amazing. Those ball players and that, see, you know that era of players that you're, you know, your dad took you to see. It's like, man, that was, that's but kind of about halfway in my wheelhouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're a couple years older than me. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's funny. It's funny because you know I never thought of any of that stuff. And just for people who are listening that don't know, when when I was like really young. Uh, my dad was not a sports fan, but he took me to see Mickey Mantle and Willie Mays and and um, Bill Russell and Will Chamberlain and and um, you know the um, Bobby Hall. I mean, like like whoever the top stars were in in um, baseball, basketball, and hockey. You know that were the the legends, Gordy Howe, those type of people. And at the time, I kind I mean I knew who they were, even though I was like seven eight years old. But it wasn't you know when you're that age, you don't really realize it. And it wasn't until you know, years later that I understood that it was like this, he wanted me to see these people live. And, um, 
you know, it was funny because when he was dying, it was like that was the stuff that I remembered was the stuff from my childhood more than stuff from recent years. It was like, you know, he wasn't a sports fan, but he wanted to take me to this stuff because he, he knew I was really into sports. So it was, um, it was you know, a great memory. Yeah, great dad. Boy, just a great dad. And, and yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's been a tough year. 2017 is a – has had its challenges, David, my friend. So yeah, uh, we yeah. we persevere and move on. And I got some topics here to, to you know just to to, uh, to visit about. And then I asked some folks on Facebook and all this other social media uh, monster to throw some questions at us. And there's some buttes. Good. Uh, so uh, here we go. I wanted to because I, I'm coming off this trip. I mentioned this. I did a little piece on the show that called uh, "What's on My Mind." I kind of touched on on the May Young Classic, and, I, and I'll abbreviate it for the guys or the folks who are already listening, but I, I said essentially that I didn't realize what it was going to mean to me until after I got there. Mm-hmm. And after I sat through and helped conduct 32 interviews with 32 ladies representing 13 countries with uh, Lita and uh, Medusa and saw what this whole process was beginning to mean to these women that were coming in there. And, you know, cause I'm talking, I'm doing like a fighter meeting, I'm like boxing or MMA or something. I'm going over all the, who are you and wh- all these things. And some of them are like, what about your family? Uh, you know, is your family supporting you or what? I want to know everything. Right. So I want to be able to tell a good story. Some of them I've never seen tape on or video. Right. So sure. the point is, is that when I got into the process, I saw tears, I saw laughter, I saw hugs. I saw raw emotions that I had, I had not seen in a pro wrestling environment in years. And it, it made, it awakened me to what this meant to their gender. Because I was in my little world of, you know, JR world, and I wasn't, I wasn't getting it. But boy, after Tuesday night, when I went to bed Tuesday night, I got it. So that's kind of, it was a strange thing. Does that make any sense to you? Yeah. You know what? It was funny because when, um, the whole tournament was being built up. It was just like, you know, a tournament and everything. But after the first night, a couple of people who were there kind of told me a few things about what was going on and, and the emotional thing. And I started thinking about it. And, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it, it's really different from the women than the men in the sense that, like, a lot of the guys that, that are, like, in the Cruiserweight Classic or in the Independence or everything like that, there's places that they can go, and, you know, you're not going to get necessarily rich. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.